They're the faces of the tragedy. 72 people killed by fire. Yes, Mr Thomas. But at the Grenfell inquiry, a lawyer for some of the bereaved and survivors said race also played a part in their deaths. The majority of the Grenfell residents who died were people of colour. And we know, we know that. The statistics are glaring and provide a stark and continuous reminder that Grenfell is inextricably linked with race. It is the elephant in the room. And the figures are overwhelmingly clear. 85% of residents who died were from a black, Asian or minority ethnic background. As a comparison, the Bain population in Kensington and Chelsea was just 36% at the time of the fire. In an echo of George Floyd's dying words as he was held down by police in America, We Can't Breathe was projected onto the tower on Sunday. George Floyd's last words were, I can't breathe. These were a chilling reminder of the experiences survivors and sadly were some of the last words of those who died in this tragedy. A 999 call at 0215 and 7 seconds from someone on the 12th floor reported seeing fireballs and said, we can't breathe. Jessica Urbanas reported that Raymond Moses Bernard couldn't talk to the operator because he was struggling to breathe. And as she herself became progressively unresponsive, her final words were, I can't breathe, I can't breathe no more. As it stands, the inquiry is bound by what's called its terms of reference. That's essentially a set of rules by which the inquiry is guided. And at the moment, the issue of race is not included. Unless I can assist you further. No, that's very helpful. Thank There's you. been no response yet from today's submission from the inquiry or the Prime Minister's office. But the hearing, under strict, limited attendance, will continue tomorrow. Rags Martel, ITV News, at the Grenfell Inquiry.